Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to training at test leave. Today, we'll learn how do we deal with calendar. Before that, this website leafground.com is our website where you can learn your selenium interactions and locators at one place. And this will assist you to learn calendar today. So now we'll go to a calendar page and click on the calendar icon that brings the calendar we are in February 2017 you can click on the next or previous to travel on the sites so we go forward and backward we select a date which would be next month 10th so let's write a program quickly so I have a test ng and using test ng annotation at test and Go to launch the browser, maximize, simplicity, wait, and launch the URL and click on the calendar. So let's go and inspect the calendar. And that's our input field which has a date picker ID. I clicked on it. So I'm going to set a date which I want to be there. So DDMMYY. Right, let's go and start writing the program. So now we will split the date by date, month, and the year. But I'm only interested on in the month. Date will be implemented later. Let's find the month of the calendar right now from the web page. So let's go and look at that particular static text, which is a span, and obviously it has an interesting class name right here, right? So we were able to find the class name, and the class name is confirmed right here. So I got the text, I'm printing the text. But right now the text is in January, February, like a text. So which is double M, double M, four M's. But if you want to convert them into a number, you have to make it into a double M, right? So I receive in text and convert into a number. Then converting the string back to an integer using integer dot parsing method. So I'm printing the present month. We should print zero two followed by two. The calendar should give us in a string 0, 2 and then followed by integer should give us 2. Let's confirm. Obviously this is launching the browser. I may be running on a older Chrome driver but still support on the version of Chrome drivers. So it clicked and obviously going to read the February. Let's go and look at the log. The log says it's a February month and 0, 2 and 2 is the integer value. Now let's write the logic. good so what we need right now is we need to get the number and compare it if the number is greater than the present number so i'm going to move forward click next button so if month to select is greater than the present month then let's go and click on the next button driver dot find element let's look at the locator of the next button the next button is a span again so which has a text called next span text node equal to next in single code that's x path we have copy that x path driver dot find element by x path and then click on the element great so we got the click button but this need to be clicked multiple times so what i do for loop it all depends on the differences right now so the difference would be month to select minus the present month so both are in integer so you just minus it you should have it if both are same obviously it doesn't go to the if condition at all so we have written the next button but after clicking on the next button just for the visibility purpose i'll put a thread dot sleep otherwise you will not able to see them running very fast so let's put a final millisecond good number to go for let's write also the reverse direction logic is very same except that less than symbol and the text is going to be previous excellent so we got the previous except the logic is going to be absolutely similar right so we got for the forward and backward now it's going to select the month march so launch the browser clicking the url calendar icon and now if we see it it went quickly to the march it was very fast now let's change the month to august now it should have multiple next click let's confirm it so launch the browser again and it went on to that calendar see it is clicking one of the other based on the differences successfully clicked i want to click on the date also 
If you remember the date value we split and have it in a string array. So the first element is obviously the date. So I'm going to run this again. So now it will move to the August month and click on the 10th day of the August month too. See? Got it. So here it is in a different daytime format. So hence you are seeing this input and DDMOY. What you see in the application is MMDDOY. So excellent, we are changing for now January. So it's going to go to the previous month right now. It's like the previous month, that's all we have. So we got everything as required. So thank you for reaching us at Test Leaf. We are happy to assist you. If you like our video, please go and subscribe our Test Leaf YouTube channel. We would assist to have more videos for you. Thank you for reaching us again. Thank you so much.